In this lecture, you're going to learn the transform each tool and one application for its use is to create patterns. So we have a pattern here, there's a pattern here. Uh, how do we create these? Well, the transform each tool. And I actually learned this technique years ago uh, at an advertising design firm that I was working at. So go ahead and go to File New and click OK. And we want to create some kind of pattern. Let's just create this kind first, all right? So click and hold on to the Ellipse tool. And then click and drag and hold Shift if you want a perfect circle. And let's make sure the fill is some kind of color. And then we're going to set the stroke here to none. All right, and what we do, a quick way to make a pattern is to just hold Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac and click and drag it over. Hold Shift to maintain that uh, 90 degree angle or that level angle. And then what you want to do, while this is still selected, don't deselect it, uh, we're going to go to Object Transform, Transform again. I like to just do the shortcut. So either Control D on the PC or Command D on the Mac. So each time we repeat that process, the new one is selected. So Control D, Control D, Control D. You can actually just hold on to it. And then so if we want to bring these down, click and drag around them with the uh, selection arrow. And then we're going to hold Alt or Option on the Mac again. Click and drag down, hold Shift. There we go. And then Control D, Control D, and so on. And then if you want to change uh, certain colors in here, we could, but that's creating that kind of pattern. All right, That's not the transform each command, but it is using uh, one part of that. If you go to object transform, the transform again. But what if we want to create a pattern more like this one? Well, what you would do, just go ahead and go to file new, and let's just create a star, and click and drag this out. I'm going to set this to a different color, and I'm going to have Stroke set to none. Pull it over in the corner here. And what we don't do, instead of duplicating it with Alt or Option, click and drag, we need to go to Object, Transform, and then Transform Each. So on this menu, we have horizontal scale, so the size, uh, the vertical scale. So you can make it smaller, you can make it larger. So for this example, I'll just keep it at 90%. So every single time, it transforms, it's going to transform to 90% of the one that's selected. And then we can also move it. So you will move it to the left or the right or up and down and so on. So for this example, you can toggle preview back and forth to see the before and after. So for this example, uh, we need to move it a little bit more. Actually, maybe a little bit closer. Let's see it overlap. And vertical, I'll just keep that at zero because we're going to have a level. And then for this, since this is a star, we can have it rotate. If it was a perfect circle, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. But with a star, we can. And so once we have some kind of settings that we want, click Copy. Not OK. We need to hit Copy, because then that copies it. And then press Control or Command D, and just keep doing that. And then for the example that you saw earlier, if you just click and drag up here. And then Alt click down, or Option click down, hold Shift. And we just need to rotate it. All right, so go off the edge here, click and drag, and then hold Shift for that same angle. Then I'll just bring it up a little bit. Then you could repeat the process: Alt, click and drag, or Option, click and drag, and so on. You could actually, uh, instead of deselecting, if you Alt or Option, click and drag, and then Control D, Control D, Control D, Control D. All right, so that one looks a little bit different from the other one. So that's one application of the transform each command. It's basically when you transform something, you know, there's a couple options here when you do go to transform, like move, rotate, reflect, scale, shear. But if you go to transform each, then we can repeat that process after the fact by pressing control D or transform again. And then you can customize the colors in your pattern if you want. You can change a specific elements. So so that's using transform each to create patterns. I will see you in the next lecture.